Benjamin Netanyahu has changed his mind again, just hours after deciding to suspend a new UNHCR deal to resettle some 16,000 African migrants in Western countries. The Israeli Prime Minister has now stated he will cancel the pact altogether. After meeting with angry residents of South Tel Aviv on Tuesday, the PM reconsidered after hearing their concerns. It was Netanyahu's fourth statement on the issue in a matter of hours. On Sunday, he had announced scrapping an earlier controversial plan to deport some 37,000 migrants to Africa, namely to Rwanda and Uganda. On Monday afternoon at a press conference, Netanyahu said the plan, which had drawn criticism from human rights groups both at home and abroad, would have been replaced by the new one negotiated with the UN. Under it, Israel would have given temporary residency to half the migrants and sent the other half to Western nations. However, those Western nations quickly said that they were unaware of any such agreement. The plan to let so many migrants stay was also met with outrage by conservative politicians as well as anti-migrant groups in South Tel Aviv, where many of the migrants reside. In a tweet, the education minister and leader of the Nationalist Party, Naftali Bennett, said the plan was a call for millions of potential migrant workers to come to Israel. He also warned that the credibility of the Israeli government is at stake. Those concerns have now tipped the balance in favour of rejecting any deal with the UN who have now urged Israel to reconsider their decision. The deportation legislation has been widely criticised at home and abroad, even by some of Israel's closest supporters.